Bowtie Guide 5 here, and yes, we are talking about pants again. I am concluding our discussion on pants with a little chat about the crease that you got from the title. Crease is the word, because the crease is probably the most important part of the dress trouser. It's going to really make or break your look. Crease is very important. Now, as you can see on my pants here, I have a nice prominent crease goes all the way down to the cuff and it comes all the way up to my um, pleats. Now on a more casual pant, a khaki, a jean, something like that, something you're wearing more low cut or wearing casually, you can get away without a crease. It's not a big deal. But on a suit trouser, a dress trouser, um, a formal pant, a tuxedo, a tail pant, Anything like that, you got to have that crease. It separates the boys from the men. It is one of those things you can pick out on a person's outfit, and you can see that crease, and you know that this is a person who understands fine dressing. It's not the only thing. There are many things you can look at in a person's outfit, but the crease is one of them and one of the easiest. Now, I want you to discuss... Um, how to maintain the crease and how to achieve the crease. Now these pants I'm wearing, they're custom. A lot of my stuff is custom lately or made to measure. And my tailor does a permanent crease for me. It's a little resin they put on the line of the pant. It's like a silicone type material. And then they do uh, what's called a permanent press where they lay that material in the pant and then they give it a nice pressing, firmly hold it for a few minutes or however it works, and lift it up and you're going to have that sight line and it's going to stay there for the longevity of the pant. And it's going to hold up to dry cleaning and things like that. Um, another option, if you do go to the dry cleaners, you can ask them to um, make sure they put a nice crease in the pant when they're pressing your suit. Some dry cleaners may even also offer the uh, permanent crease option that um, a lot of clothers are doing now. And the last one is um, if you do your own pressing or your own ironing, you want to be careful about how you lay the pants when you go to iron to make sure you're not manipulating that crease in any kind of way. And now I would like to show you some techniques on how to crease your pants and how to properly care for your the crease on your pants. All right, onto our pants. I've got my iron here and I've just let it get nice and warm. You may also want a bottle of squirt, uh, a little squirt bottle of water. Sometimes I like to just give a little spritz over the pants and what that does is that protects the iron from burning the pants. Now you want to line up your crease so it's the even on both sides. And then what I do is I take a piece of cardstock, something thick. This is a little mailer insert, and it's got a little bit of a lip to it. And I will put it in inside the pant where the crease is. And what that does is um, that fills in the crease, kind of like the re like the resin that I talked about. And then you can uh, pressure iron over the pants. And then I just kind of bring that down um, as I go until I get all the way to the bottom. And if the iron's good and hot and you, um, you've got that bit of water, that's going to really help. And then you just come in here and uh, you should, um, if you do it right, you're going to get both sides of the pants at the same time, more or less. So you don't have to really flip the pants over. And then you just come and uh, flip the pants over and get the other leg and you're good to go. But I just want to show you here, I'm going to pull this up. You can see that sharp crease line right there. That is what you're looking for. So I hope um, this little tutorial has helped you. And... Uh, you now understand that crease is the word. <laughs> so uh, until next time.